Mm. Okay, hi YouTube, Mr. Who's the Boss here. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to speed up your Galaxy S5. So as you all know, the S5 is a fast phone. However, if you follow these tips and tricks, you should basically have the fastest phone in the world. So there are a few different ways of going about it. In this, I'm just going to show you one of them. So the first thing we're going to do is install Solo Launcher. Now this is free off the Google Play Store and is a seriously cool launcher. Not only does it look really good, but it's actually very, very fast. So here is the home, and as you can see, it's just a really nice snappy launcher, and it just looks great. It's actually based off stock Android, so you actually get that pure Android experience for those of you who like that, and didn't manage to get the Google Play edition of the S5. On top of that, we've actually got full gesture support, so we can actually, you know, do things loads faster on our phone. We could make a double tap open up a certain application, for example, if we used it very often. It's just, you know, limitless possibilities here. So as well as increasing the performance of your device, a third-party launcher actually does a lot in the way of customization. You know, you can change things like the animations that you have in your app drawer and your home screen. And there's just a lot more that you can do, you know, more than the original sort of change wallpaper that you had in the stock launcher. So another thing I really recommend you do is download an app cleaner. Now an app cleaner will sort of clean the cache, clean the previous data of apps that are currently running, and it will close the ones that aren't being used. Now this just frees up the memory, i.e. the RAM, of the phone. And considering the S5 only has 2GB as opposed to 3GB, this is more important than ever. So number three, I really recommend you install a third-party browser. Now personally, I think Google Chrome is one of the best. You know, it's fast, it's clean, and it's not bogged down by all the extensions that plague the stock apps, like the stock Samsung internet browser, which is, to be honest, not as fast as it should be. So as you can see, on my sort of fairly average internet connection, Chrome works very quickly. You know, it's fluid, and searches come up quickly. On top of that, it loads up images much faster than any other browser on Android. So the fourth one's a bit of an obvious point, but I think you should just make sure that you keep closing apps that aren't being used, you know, because they're just taking up the phone's resources unnecessarily. You should also remove any widgets which you don't use regularly, because these are constantly sending and receiving information from whoever owns them, and this takes up power. So, I mean, one thing that is really going to help you get the most out of your phone is to install Root. Now, Root basically just allows you to do whatever on earth you want, so you can overclock your phone to make it run faster, you can install ad blockers to get rid of ads, and you can even install apps that actually allow you to remove the bloatware previously on your device. So probably the last thing you need to do is to disable live wallpapers. You know, while these do look quite nice, they're a total hog on your battery, and they also do lower performance, because, you know, the, the processor's got to constantly handle the moving particles and objects, as well as everything else. So that's it from me, guys. I hope this video helped you to speed up your Android phone. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more.